Libra, hi. So this is going to be a reading for November 15th through the 21st. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Libra. I'm trying to make myself a little comfy here, but I got this big ass pillow right here. I don't want to take it out. It feels good in there at the same time. It takes away from me getting too comfortable here in a weird way. Anyways, let's see, Libra. Let's see what's going on. <clears throat> A very small table. Don't judge if cards start falling and flipping and all sorts of things. Um, the overall energy for the reading, the Six of Wands. Um, feeling good about something. Feeling successful, victorious, like you achieved something. We'll see. In the recent past, the King of Wands, the Empress, the Fool. That's a really, really, really cool energy right there. Uh, there's you. With the Empress energy, there's someone attached to your energy here. And there's you with the Fool again, kind of being, I'm all in. I'm going in. Move out of the way. Libra's going in. Uh, we'll see when we clarify what, what happened there. In the current situation, the Nine of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, the Devil. Hmm. You may get distracted here in choices and options so let's say a couple of choices come your way and you're like ah oh, let me think about it and then the more you think about it the more these choices become <laughs> multiple choices even more choices uh where you kind of get lost in the sense of i i feel like you got it overall you're you've got the nine of pentacles so you've got the choice you already know what to choose for yourself but you get lost in this concept of well, let me think about it, because if I don't make the right choice, then I'll make the wrong one, and I don't want to regret it afterwards, so I'll have to think about it a little more, and then some more choices come up, and then so the more time you give this process, it feels like it's going to start to overwhelm you to the point of not even knowing what to choose anymore. And I feel like this may be a pattern of yours. Instead of going with your gut, your instinct, because um, again, you got the Nine of Pentacles there, right? You already know. Um... You're kind of dragging this process of choosing things. Uh, we'll see. I feel like it's something you're dealing with currently. That's why it's showing up right now. So we'll see. In the immediate future, the Seven of Wands, the Chariot, the Ten of Cups. Well, happiness is coming. And happiness looks like it's coming pretty fast here in your life. But because it's moving so fast and because it seems so unbelievable, you know, sometimes unreachable, it's like, yeah, no, mm, I'm going to reject it. Feels too good to be true kind of thing. And that's your rejection right there. So, let's clarify. We're reaching for cards. Um, let's see. Six of Wands. Six of Wands. You get the King of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. There's some sort of a supportive figure kind of showing up for you here. I feel like there's some sort of bond, some sort of partnership between the two of you. Uh, there's definitely a lot of contribution on their part. And something may have happened recently where it feels like I knew I can count on you kind of energy is coming up. You know, you towards this. It almost looks like a paternal energy and it doesn't have to be a, you know, your dad or anything but it definitely feels like protective and supportive um so something may have happened here because you got the six of wands there in terms of something good may have come out of you and them working together on something um yeah pretty good energy here let's see what do i want to clarify in the past let me clarify that empress Eight of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Knight of Swords. Interesting. 
So you're showing up initially with all of these pages as if, let's say this whatever kind of energy comes into your life, right? It's, it's something uh, in any kind of aspect. Let's put it here. Let's put love. No, let's put work because there's too many pentacles. Let's put work. So you've got a good opportunity coming your way. It feels good. It's like, yeah, this is what I've always looked for. And you're showing up in it at the beginning, at least in a page kind of energy. A page kind of energy is that of, let me try it. Let me go with it. Let me try it. Even though it feels so freaking good that I know somewhere deep down that I'm all in, I'm just going to try it for a little bit. And you're showing up in that way in many aspects of your life, apparently, where you're not opening yourself up fully, even though you feel this is it, you know? In this particular direction, I feel like you've grown. Your energy has grown. The energy you're putting in has grown. And this could be in regards to work in this past situation. I don't see it as that necessarily. Maybe it started that way, but I see it more as something else, something more than just work, you know? Uh, but I see our energy growing towards it and being invested more and more into it. As to the full in the recent past. The Five of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Three of Swords. Mm. Ouch. Eventually, I do see you going all in and then um, kind of blowing up in your face this whole situation. Maybe that's why you're taking this whole approach of the pages at first, you know, because maybe you've had experiences in the past where you went all in and who the hell knows what happens. Like in this circumstance here, I see pain. I see confusion, not knowing which direction to take anymore, regret, all sorts of things. And then people start to associate that whole, well, I opened up myself fully with pain. So they don't do it anymore, right? which no it wasn't the opening up that brought you pain it was other elements other things that may have happened um not the opening up not being vulnerable but i see you doing that you know opening up fully and then poof getting hurt which again that wasn't the reason why you got hurt um was to the nine of pentacles in the current situation The Six of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, the Two of Wands. You're showing up in a place of doing all you can do to bring things into balance within a situation. And I feel like that is not happening because you're walking away from it, from this situation. So... Uh, Kai, Kai, not there, baby boy. No. Move a, a, an inch to the left if you could. Okay, but don't take out all of my setting here, please. Anyways, um, so it's again one of those things of I tried everything I could and things are just not working out, so I'm gonna move on. Um, Okay, well, I can respect that for sure. But you're still kind of waiting for something to happen, though. You're still kind of waiting for things to get balanced, even though you do look like you're walking away. Um, if you did your part, your share of things, remember it takes two to tango, right? So you can't do someone else's share. Um, if you feel like you've tried it all and nothing can be done anymore, then by all means, do whatever you feel is right for you. At this time, I feel like you feel that that's what's right for you, but I still see you kind of waiting. So you're not necessarily moving away completely uh, from whatever this is. Let's do the Seven of Cups. In the current situation, Ace of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. See, this is, again, one of those, I've exhausted all possibilities to make this work, to make this happen. Make sure you've exhausted all possibilities to make it work, not to make it work as you want it to work. 
because there's a difference right there. Uh, you're definitely walking away from a situation. You're showing up in this energy of, I've tried and tried and tried. I'm still kind of trying here and there, but not really physically, emotionally. I'm still attached to this, but I'm done. I'm done trying. I'm done. Almost pissed off. Almost pissed off. Um, let me see the devil here. Because I feel like that could be tied up to control. Because things are not working out right now in the way that you try to make them work. For the devil, you get the strength card, the ace of pentacles, the fool. See, there's this energy that keeps on being pushed almost on your side. Like, it has to be this way. For things to happen in a good way, for me to feel good about it, it has to be this particular way. Um, it is tied up to a little bit of control here on your side. And I know you're not that. Like, that's not necessarily one of your traits. For some reason, you're showing up in it, though. Of course, it could be somebody tied up to you. It doesn't have to be you. You would know if that's you, though. Um, let's do the Seven of Wands in the immediate future. The Nine of Swords, the Sun, the Magician. You're trying to manifest happiness here. And I feel like it will work eventually. In an odd way, it looks like you're doing it right. It's like pushing away unhappiness to make room for happiness kind of thing um i have no idea how this will come to fruition i just have this something about it makes me feel like oh okay it's working you know about the way you're manifesting this and i don't feel like it's tied up to something in particular it's just the energy of happiness you're trying to manifest uh let's do the chariot the Hierophant, the Ace of Wands, the Devil again. Please take a look at this energy of the Devil here in the current situation and in the immediate future. So it, it, it looks more and more. So you're doing a lot of work on yourself, right? And you're getting into this energy of, I know where I'm at, I know where I want, I know what I don't want. But based on that, you could still show up in a little bit of a controlling energy. Like if they don't show up exactly how... I'm making it up so that they match me perfectly out the window they go. Um, looks a little bit controlling. Looks a little bit controlling. If the devil wasn't here, sure, that could have worked. But the devil showed up twice for you. And tied up to this energy of brand new beginning. It has to show up in this way, you know? For the Ten of Cups, you get the Five of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, there is a little bit of deception, a little bit of self-sabotage even through this energy. Uh, tied up to the way you want to build happiness with somebody else, basically. Because you're showing up at the end of the day still not tied up to them. Um, oh, I know what I'm going for in your extended but let's um let's see what the universe has to close it off for you the moon the eight of cups the high priestess this i can understand your intuition is guiding you to move away to walk away from this this part i can understand i feel like it's something you feel deep, deep inside. You don't even know how to translate it. It could be that that's why, because this energy is present of, I need to get the hell out of Dodge, and you don't know where it's coming from, and you don't, know, don't even know that you're carrying it. It could be that you're creating these scenarios in which they have to show up like this, knowingly that they won't, so that you sabotage this whole thing. And then when they don't, you can freely say, I'm free to walk away. Could be that... Twisting simple, simple, simple twisted. I, I, yeah, could be that. I don't know. But that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.